Hey, what's up everybody? This is the One Man 282 here again. And uh, in these following two videos, uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, explaining what a TSOP flash is on an Xbox to you guys. I'm going to be clearing up some of the confusion. Um, and I'm also going to be sh demonstrating how you actually go about doing it. Um, so if you don't already know what a TSOP flash is, it, it can be a little bit confusing and it's um, a little bit hard to get some information on that. Um, so hopefully this video is going to clear that up for you guys and explain um, what that actually means. So here we have a, an Xbox motherboard. Um, and if you don't already know, uh, an Xbox motherboard is very similar to a PC motherboard. It has a lot of the same components like a, a graphics, uh, excuse me, a CPU, graphics processor, RAM, uh, you know, hard drive, DB drive, etc. So uh, one of the uh, one of the common features that uh, an Xbox motherboard has is what's called a BIOS. So in uh, in all older PCs, uh, a BIOS is a um, if you don't already know, a BIOS is a very rudimentary program that controls how all of the devices in a computer communicate with each other. That's, that's a very very simple explanation. So. It controls how processor, RAM, um, uh, devices like a hard drive or a DVD drive, how they all, you know, communicate. The BIOS in the Xbox does pretty much the same thing. It controls how all of the components communicate together. So uh, there are a lot of terms thrown around when when people talk about TSOP flashing. So first off, let's let's talk about what the heck is a TSOP. Um, TSOP is this right here. It's this chip right here. So to define TSOP, it actually stands for Thin Small Outline Package, and that's all it is. Um, it's just a type of integrated circuit, just like this is a QFP package, this is a TSOP package. Um, that's really all it means. It just defines the type of chip that it is. Now, the BIOS, you think of it, think of the BIOS as a small, a very small program. It lives inside the TSOP. It's a very just a small program that lives there. Now this now this TSOP here, it's a it's a uh, specific kind of TSOP. It's actually an, an EEPROM TSOP. EEPROM stands for Electrically Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory. And so that kind of segues us into you know how we actually go about TSOP flashing. We can electrically erase and then program this TSOP. Uh, chip with our own custom BIOS and that begs the question You know, why do we want to replace the BIOS? I mean, you know, what benefits does it bring? Well, the uh, the Microsoft BIOS that's you know programmed in here already it has some restrictions in place like um, If you uh, try to run your Xbox without a DVD drive or without a hard drive um, You can't you know, it, it just it won't let you it'll give you an error um, If you modded your Xbox and you didn't lock the hard drive the BIOS would detect that and it would give you an error. So there's there are a lot of restrictions in place with the Microsoft BIOS. And uh, what we what we want to accomplish is put our own BIOS on there that's uh, custom that basically removes the restrictions that we don't want. It makes this it, it makes it easier to um, you know use our Xbox pretty much. It eliminates the restrictions. Now TSOP flashing is kind of like uh, kind of like installing a mod chip. So same way you would take a mod chip and install it in your Xbox and your Xbox would boot off of the BIOS on the mod chip. We're basically doing the same thing here. So we're just installing our custom BIOS on the motherboard itself. So basically when you when you install a chip in your Xbox, basically what you're telling the Xbox is don't boot from the TSOP. You need to you need to boot from the uh, the mod chip instead. That's where our custom BIOS is. That's where I want to want you to boot that BIOS from. But when we TSOP flash, we actually take a custom BIOS flash it to the TSOP itself and we say hey don't use the original BIOS use this custom one instead that's what we want to use now that also brings us into the question of you know what are some of the benefits of a uh, TSOP flashing in Xbox you know I've, I've already got my you know Xbox soft modded why do I need to do this well there are, there are some really good uh, really good benefits of TSOP flashing first off you don't have to lock your hard drive anymore when you want to uh, when you want to mod your Xbox. With a soft mod, you actually you know you have to lock the hard drive so that the Xbox can unlock it when you first boot up. With the TSOP flash, you know that restriction is gone. Um, you don't have to do that anymore. It's very helpful if you ever have to recover from a crashed hard drive or 
you mess some sort of uh, you messed up your dashboard or anything like that. Another benefit of it is uh, you don't have to um, have the DVD drive installed if you don't want it. Uh, there's uh, a lot of people like to do Xbox Slims, um, and uh, one popular modification is to remove the DVD drive. You know, it just takes up a lot of space. You don't necessarily need a DVD drive when you can run everything from the hard drive. So, it, you know, if you have not TSOP flashed your Xbox and you take the DVD drive out and, uh, you know, try to run it, um, the uh, BIOS will give you an error 16 saying that, hey, I can't find the DVD drive. Um, there's a problem here. The TSOP flash, you can run the DVD drive um, out of the system if you want to. Another big benefit is uh, you can um, run unsigned code from a cold boot. So with the soft mod, you can't you can't necessarily do that. You have to wait for the soft mod to activate when you power on. Then you can run unsigned code like a burnt game or a homebrew. Uh, with a TSOP flash, it can do that automatically. You can run it. Uh, you can run unsigned code from cold boot on a DVD or from the hard drive. Very useful if you ever had to recover your hard drive. Uh, from a crash or, um, or from a file that got deleted, you can just you know put a recovery disk in your DVD drive and it'll boot right up. It's very very useful. Now I want to make a note that there is one version of the, of the Xbox that can't be TSOP flashed, and that is the version 1.6. Uh, now that there are a couple of variations of that, there's the 1.6a and b, um, but the, for all intents and purposes, it's the same version, version 1.6. So. The 1.6 Xbox motherboard, it actually doesn't have a TSOP. It actually has a, uh, a QFP package that sits somewhere in this area and uh, it can't be programmed. It's, it's not an EE prom. Um, the BIOS is actually hard coded into that chip and it can't be erased. It, it can't be changed. Uh, if you want to use a custom BIOS on your Xbox and it's a 1.6, your only option is uh, a mod chip. So that's a pretty basic overview of uh, you know what a TSOP flash is. So uh, let's dive a little bit deeper and uh, I'll show you some of the options you have with TSOP flashing. So here's a little bit closer look at the TSOP chip itself and that's uh, this chip right here. Um, so this is actually where the BIOS lives in the Xbox, it lives in this chip. Now there are different memory capacities for uh, the different versions of uh, the Xbox. Uh, there's only two two different um, memory capacities you can get. Uh, versions 1.0 and 1.1 Xboxes have a, a one megabyte TSOP, that's the memory capacity. And then 1.2 and through 1.5 have a 256 kilobyte capacity. And that's what this one out right here is. This is 256 kilobytes in capacity. Now I don't have a, uh, a one megabyte TSOP to show you. So here's just a picture. Um, now, one of the things you can do with the one megabyte TSOP is that you can actually put four different BIOSes on it if you want to. Um, this was really popular back when um, Xbox modding was in its heyday. You could actually um, put one, two, or four um, BIOSes on, the, on a single chip and you could switch between them um, to test them or they had different features, you know, whatever. Um, not really useful today, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So. A one megabyte TSOP, um, you can divide it into into four 256 kilobyte, uh, say divisions, I guess, and you can uh, flash a 256 kilobyte BIOS to each division, um, or you can do it uh, with two BIOSes instead of four. You can um, split the TSOP into, into into half, pretty much, with two 512 kilobyte um, divisions, and then put uh, two 512 512 kilobyte BIOSes on the chip. Or you can just, you know, use the entire capacity and, and put a single BIOS on it. Um, again, not really useful today um, since, you know, BIOSes are pretty much, there's, there's really only uh, maybe two or three that are actually um, viable today since, um, you know, that the, the Xbox development has come so far along. But um, just an interesting note. Uh, but back to our uh, 256K um, BIOS here in front of us, what we would actually be doing when we TSOP flash an Xbox is uh, through software, um, we would actually erase the uh, Microsoft BIOS that's already on here and then write our own BIOS um, on this chip 
that is a, a custom BIOS that you know removes the, removes the restrictions. It enables features. Um, basically, makes it the Xbox e easier to use. Now here's a, a version of 1.6 Xbox, and as you can see in this area, there is no TSOM chip. It it doesn't exist. Um, so the BIOS actually resides on this uh, QFP chip right here. Um, this is an Xbox custom made chip. The BIOS is actually hard coded into this chip and it can't be written to, it can't be changed. So, you know, thus you can't TSOP flash an Xbox because there is no TSOP, it doesn't exist. Um, now you can, if you want to, you can use a mod chip right here on the LPC. Um, but as far as custom BIOSes go, that's really your only option is a mod chip. I mean, or soft mod if you wish. So uh, that pretty much covers TSOP flashing. Um, overall, it's a pretty simple thing to understand. Uh, there's just a lot of confusion, a lot of terms thrown around that aren't um, always explained. Uh, so uh, check out part two, and we'll go ahead and uh, I'll dem demonstrate how to uh, actually go through the process um, of TSOP flashing an Xbox.